Hey everybody, I'm sitting down today with a face you probably recognize from the big screen, Jeremy Piven, or should I say Ari Gold. He's an Emmy Award winning, a Golden Globe Award winning actor. A lot of you guys know him from Entourage. He's had a lot of projects since then on Netflix and, uh, and other platforms, but you're going to be in Palm Beach uh, this weekend. Go ahead and tell us about that. Yeah, I'm going to be in Palm Beach uh, Thursday through Saturday, uh, five shows. And I, I think we need to laugh now more than ever. So uh, it, it's an honor. I, you know, living in L.A., we have no place to, to perform. So I've been performing at drive-in movie theaters for cars. You know, I, I, I was heckled by a Kia Sorento. <laughs> that, I mean, that's my life. Do okay? people honk at you in the, if that's the case? If they <laughs> Indeed, and my reference for honking is you've done something wrong. So I thought I was bombing, but it was actually going well. So it was confusing. Man, that really messes with your mind a little bit up there, huh? It does. And that's why it's going to be so incredible to be at the Palm Beach Improv, because I'm going to be around real people. I'm going to wear, I'm, I might even wear a watch. It's <laughs> going to be, because I haven't been out since March. It's exciting. Well, well, tell us, is this your first time in, in Palm Beach County, or Palm, West Palm Beach? No, no, I, I played the improv before, and I'm not just saying this, but but comics love the improv. It's it's a you can get a, you can get some nice people in there, but it feels intimate, and it's like the dream because you just you're all in it together. So I love that room. Okay, and some of your material, you said you're going to be playing off just uh, what's been going on this past year, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, you, you you have to include everything that we've been through, um, the transition. Uh, all of it. Um, the fact that I'm mistaken for Ari Gold wherever I go, I have strangers come up to me and go, I'm a douchebag because of you, bro. <laughs> they walk up and just want to hug it out with you? They want to hug it out. They don't go up to Brian Cranston, Walter White, and say, I'm a meth addict because of you. You know what I mean? It's, it's confusing. Um, but listen, when you play a character authentically and you're in people's living rooms, you'd be a fool to think that they're, you know, that people wouldn't be a bit confused. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm biased, but I, I feel like that show, Entourage, helped mold a generation, so to speak. So it, uh, how do you feel about get, getting recognized like that uh, as Ari Gold? Look, I, I'm a stage actor from Chicago, and you, the idea that you, you're a working actor is the brass ring. So I, I it would be very foolish of me to uh, be angry at the fact that I... I played a character authentically and people connect with that character. So I talk about that on stage. I talk about the fact that, you know, I grew up running lines with my mother who has been my acting teacher since I was a kid. And so everything I said is Ari Gold. I said to my mother's face and how insane that is because my character was so brash. And um, listen, I, 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 it's an honor to be able to make people laugh for an hour. And I think we need that escape. We're going to be socially distanced um and we're gonna laugh that's you know and during these times that's all you can ask for hey and you're the man to deliver uh speaking of you have a lot that you have in the works uh coming up some big names you're gonna be working alongside i see jamie fox here as as one of your your co-stars tell us about some of your upcoming projects uh yeah i did a movie called all-star weekend with jamie fox that he's been editing for a few years because he's a perfectionist <laughs> and it was the time of my life because he's probably the most talented guy I've ever worked with. Um, you know, he can do it all. And, and drama and comedy and improv, and he, he also can sing and, and do stand-up as well. So he's, I remember I went to Jamie's uh, to support him when he got a star on the Walk of Fame, and they literally ran out of icons because he just, there isn't anything he doesn't do. Um, that was incredible. I have a movie with Bruce Dern that was just sold to IFC uh, called Last Call. I have a movie out right now on Amazon uh, it, it sounds like I'm, I'm about to show you my reel at a certain point. But no, I have a movie called My Dad's Christmas Date, which sounds like a, 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 like a Hallmark or a Lifetime movie, and it's not. It actually has <laughs> to it. So, But the thing that I really love doing right now is, is performing live and making people laugh, because when you do you know, film or TV, there's a tape delay, and you don't know how it's being received. And now I'm in a room with people, and it's my job to make them laugh. And and you're either thriving or bombing, and I love it. No better way to connect with the audience. You're going to be here all weekend. Come out and see him, guys. He's going to be here Thursday through Saturday at the Palm yeah. Beach Improv. It's going to be quite a show. Thank you, man. Come on down, please.